In this example, we're going to compare two loans at slightly different interest rates for the same principal amount and the same length of time. So all that's going to change is the interest rate from 4% to 3.5%. The way we're going to compare them is by finding the total amount paid in interest for both versions of the loan. So to find the total amount paid in interest, we have to find the monthly payment for each loan and then multiply that by the number of payments to figure out how much we pay in total and then subtract 200,000 to find the interest paid. So if that didn't make sense all at once, we'll take it step by step now. So for the first loan, we have 4% interest. The second one, we have 3.5% interest. And we're gonna calculate the payment amount in both instances. To do this, we'll actually use the TVM solver on the calculator. And this is handy because all we're gonna change from one to the other is the interest rate. N and the other pieces will stay consistent. So this is a 30 year loan with monthly payments. So N is gonna be 12 times 30 or 360. The interest rate will start with 4% and we'll change that to 3.5% later. The present value or principal on the loan is $200,000. The payment is what we're gonna solve for and we'll leave future value blank because that doesn't come into this problem. And then PY and CY both should be 12. So we'll solve for PMT, hit alpha, enter. And the monthly payment under the 4% interest loan is about $955. If we change the interest rate to 3.5%, we can now go back to the PMT and solve again. And the monthly payment comes out to about $900. So now that we have both payment amounts, we can go back to the rest of the problem. So now that we know the payment amount for each option, we can figure out the total amount that we'll pay over the course of 30 years by simply taking that monthly payment amount times 12 in each case. That'll give us the amount paid in one year and then multiply that by 30 and that'll give us the amount paid in total over 30 years. And we can compare these two once we see that total. So in the first case, if you take $954.83 times 12 times 30, what you should get is $343,738.80. In the second case, if you take $898.09 times 12 times 30, you should get a total of $323,312.40. So you can already see that you're saving some uh, by dropping the interest rate to 3.5%, but the question specifically said by finding the total amount paid in interest for both versions, that's how we'll compare them. So once we know the total amount that we paid, we know that we started by loaning $200,000. So we're paying that back plus interest. So once we know the total amount paid, if we remove the 200,000 that we're paying back in principle, the remainder is the interest. So in both cases, we can subtract $200,000. And this calculation is pretty easy to do since it's a nice round number. The first loan has an interest payment in total of $143,738.80. The second one is $123,312.40. So notice that by dropping the interest rate by half a percentage point, you end up saving roughly $20,000 over the course of the loan. So a small change in the interest rate can lead to pretty dramatic results on a $200,000 loan. And the reason for that, of course, is the length of time. It's a 30-year loan, so the interest grows pretty quickly.